So I am cruising with my neighbor and a because one of us is picking up a car today and it's not him. Yes, not me. I said it. I'm getting another car. So this right here, this is car number seven. I have a problem. This car was actually my high school friend's car. We used to go to the drag strip together in a group of people. He was the one that got a hold of me a couple years ago and asked if I wanted to buy it. Well, I really couldn't do that because I was funneling serious money into the Camaro and that was right within the first couple months of me buying it. So I declined it and I called Rich and he was interested and he got this thing. And now... Hey Rich, I hope you don't mind, but for this shot, we're actually going to take down that tree because we got to see the trailer in the background. So, or actually, I think it's your neighbor's tree. Tell him I'm sorry. So yeah, our winch isn't working. So here we are, going to have to do it Amish style. <laughs> oh, Jebediah and the Amish community would be so proud of us right now. It's working, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Slowly but surely. Well, the transmission looks like it exploded. There's like fluid everywhere. That's good. Um, just one point is that uh, there's a Dodge hauling this Pontiac, which is a GM. So, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and this thing barely has any rust and that thing will probably fall apart in about a week. So yeah, we made it back to the house with the Trans Am. It's a 98 that supposedly does about 12 second quarter miles. So yeah, I'm excited about that, but it does have a blown transmission that we're gonna have to take care of. Not a big deal. So let me introduce to you my new car, Freebird. So while I should be finishing the power tour video at this point, which it's almost done and will be out by the time you see it, and I'll link it right, right here. I figure we try to get this thing started. We need to put a battery in and hope that it starts. Rich had an uncharged battery that he brought today for the winch. That's why we <laughs> manually cranked it like Amish people. So we're charging that one right now. Well, Josh, guess what? I finally got an LS. Check this thing out. Here you go. One of the reasons why I got this thing for free is it does have a blown trans. So I will put this thing up on jack stands. And if I got to pull the trans, I'll pull the trans and rebuild it. So I think I've put it off long enough. It's been a couple weeks since I picked up Freebird. Nothing's been done to it. I sat in it a couple times and acted like I was driving it, you know, like Tim Allen in a home improvement. At this point, I'm gonna get going on the transmission. I'm gonna pull that transmission out. And I got a really good budget idea on how we're gonna get this thing done. Now the transmission eventually is gonna be rebuilt, but for now, I know of a scrapyard that sells transmissions for $65. I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro because this is impossible with this camera. I vote Busted Classic Garage Lift Install 2020. All right, so here's a little update. Got the drive shaft out, got the torque arm out, drained most of the fluid out of myself and some in the catch can. So now I'm going to rub my microphone against the exhaust that's completely oily. Awesome, that was great. And man, am I filthy. This is fun. I need a lift. Can I say this every time I'm underneath this car? So after my automatic transmission fluid shower, I'm gonna get going on that bell housing. So, today's story is Bart needs a lift. Just a little bit. Yeah, this is fun. I had an idea. If I remove this guy, both of these dudes, boom, and I make myself a super budget transmission stand plate out of a piece of wood. Now, ultimately, it would be good to reinforce this with some sheet metal. So this idea is either brilliant or extremely stupid. I guess we'll find out how it goes. Yeah, I need this to work for the next 30 minutes, not the next 30 years. It's the next day. I was very close to getting that transmission out. I undid everything and I honestly just ran out of steam. It was midnight. I just couldn't be underneath the car anymore. So I just decided to call it a night. 
I should be able to drop this now. I need a lift. Oh, okay, going down, going down quick. Well, I got it, and I won't clear it. <laughs> In no way. Okay, well, this is cool. I'm going on a search today for a 4L60E. Talk about a car fire. You think this can be rewired? <laughs> There's absolutely no order to this yard. Here's a Chrysler van. Here's an S10 or Blazer. Here's a Mercury. Ford. This makes no sense. How am I supposed to find anything here? Unlike you pull it, everything's labeled here. So this is row 10. Here's row 9. Row 8 is where this C1500 is. Ooh, this might work. Let's find out. Is it four wheel or two wheel? Four wheel up, oh, so much for that. Well, that was a bust, and it just started raining. So at least it's cooled down a little bit, but I guess I'm gonna continue on. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a blast driving. I think I got about 30 miles to go. So I decided to take a detour. Not really, it was kinda on my way. This is Eastwood, man, this place rocks. Look at all this awesome stuff they got here. Oh, this is one of my favorite stores out here. How could it not be? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go inside. So I'm at the last junkyard. These guys are officially closed. They're nice enough to let me in. Today was a complete bust. I didn't find anything. The one truck that I found had a six cylinder in it, so that's not gonna help me in any way. Oh well, there's a couple other places I can try. Maybe I'll go out tomorrow and go for another search, but I covered a good portion of the Chicagoland area today. I probably put on at least 120, 130 miles with the driving that I did, and I still gotta drive home, so eh, it is what it is. Quick Freebird update. Yesterday, I went on a search for a 4L60E and found the 2001 out of a Silverado at Victory Auto Records that has those $65 transmissions. So I'm heading right now back to Victory with one of my friends and we're gonna pull that sucker out. All right, so once again, this is a complete bust. The 2001 Silverado that I found yesterday, I didn't get a chance to pull the dipstick because I didn't think I was gonna be able to use it. Did that today, clutches are completely burnt up. You can smell it on the fluid, so. We combed through the entire yard for anything and everything. I'm not giving up. I decided to drive a little bit closer to Chicago and went to that junkyard that I was planning on going yesterday and didn't want to, and didn't want to go today either, but found a couple. Most of these transmissions are pulled already, but check this out. <laughs> yeah, found one. Guess what? This transmission is completely blown. Fluid stinks and it's like dark brown. So. Search continues. Three long days of searching, and I cannot believe it, but I found two vehicles, two-wheel drive, with a 4.8 or 5.3, maybe even a 6.0 behind them, right next to each other, with the transmission still intact, with the fluid in decent color and smell. Oh, by the way, you see that in the background? You guys know what that is? Or at least uh, what was filmed there? If you don't, that was uh, Blues Brothers and Prison Break, to name two. I'm sure there's been other movies, but that's uh, Joliet Prison. And Roadkill actually went over there when they did the uh, Econo Line trip not too long ago. Okay, I think I finally might have found one after all this searching. It's hooked up to a Vortec LS-based motor, and it is a two-wheel drive. I don't know what's up with that hole, and maybe that's how they drained the pan. Dipstick is gone, so it's kind of hard to tell what the fluid's like, but as far as the fluid goes, it looks dirty, but it might just be the color from the pan. But it definitely does not smell bad. I'm having fun, but not really. So, do you guys want the good news or the bad news? 